Me and Jay fell out. I miss his 40th. He miss he did he didn't miss mine. He did send me a gift, but I miss his. And it was over petty stuff. It was more personal stuff and disagreements and. It was not no industry related. It was more personal, and I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? I was wrong. I came. He, when I was working on Justin, he said, "Yo, send me a text. Uh, we need to talk. You know, we need to hook back up." I flew down to the Brooklyn when he had them shows, and we looked at each other and we just gave each other a hug. And he was like, "What you been doing, man?" I said, "Man, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm back. I got my mind right." He said, "You look." Look totally different. I was like, I get it now. I understand life a little more. I understand. What was your first reaction when he told you that he was gonna do this album and do it this way? Man, I forced him. Man, I was in his head. Man, he, I don't know if he was gonna do no record. We had some energy. It wasn't about doing an album, man. The energy in Jungle Studio was so powerful. Cause I was working on B. I went to do, I did like seven songs on hers. Cause you got like the Pepsi commercial. Yeah, like we did seven songs on her. I didn't, he wasn't in the picture. I played this one beat. I said, ooh, I got something just for you. And I played it, he was like, oh, oh my God. And then from then, we had did two just off the bat. Then he was like, let's just go in, let's just go. And that's how we did it. We didn't plan it. It just it just happened. The energy was so great. It was two friends reuniting. I came to everybody to Tata. I said, "Yo, man, I was sorry. I was immature back then. You know what I'm saying? I I ain't mean to, you know, bring no problems right. to y'all or right. whatever, whatever. And it was low key. Nobody know about this. You know what I'm saying? That's the first I'm talking about it. You know what I'm saying? But when you real friends, you will you will disagree and not speak and come back together and realize that. We better together than apart. And I did the majority of the album. Pharrell did too. I did one with um, 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 Boy Wonder with Ross. Um, I got it. I co-produced with Boy Wonder on that. So he had he already had it. Ross brought it. So I just touched it up to flip stuff around and make it and add another bounce to it to give it that bounce. Uh, Cause Jay followed the flow of the beat how I did it. So I helped with that. Uh, um, Dream had this one called Holy Grail. He had the whole song, so he asked me to do it. You know what I'm saying? He asked me to re redo it, so I redid it. So that's really Dream had the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So I redid it, and and that's like that one. And, and I just gave for real. I just added an 808. For real, I got two, so I just added an 808. So the majority to the whole thing is I was a part of the whole album, regardless, we got a track from this person, I thought, and I was like, we got to do this one. Mike Will got one, mm -hmm. uh, interlude. Uh, you know, and some people, you know, we got interludes. It's, it's a good album, man, but the whole point is, the old Tim would have been like, this ain't, you can't let nobody on this album, it got to be just me. I'll be having a fit. But the new Tim, hey, Whatever's gonna better the project, let's go. I'm rocking with all these people. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no animosity with this person. I don't have no animosity with that person. I don't have no, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not that dude. So I'm there, man. Like, I just, I embrace everybody. I'm glad, big, out, big shout out to Mike Will. I'm glad he's a part of it. I think now Travis Scott just did one. I think he a part of it now. And the rest is just me. Pharrell got two, it's like everybody. You know, even though Mike was not, it's, it's going to be a song. Like, we're going to figure it out. We're going to make it a, when you hear this album, I will say this. This is the best Jay-Z album just far. I told him, I said, all the blueprint, all that was, that, those were good. But this is your first, first big album for the new millennium. So the first song we did that sparked everything off, we did this song called Picasso, which is the hardest song on the record. And that sound set the tone for how the whole album was going to be. And we did it from that. So that commercial was, the first song, song commercial was Holy Grail. Then it, he did Picasso. I just want a Picasso. If you watch it, in Picasso, no my castle. Then we went into Tom Ford. When it slowed down, boom. That's like, I call that, I call that, um, 
lean music. When it slow down, like it's like not, it's not, I call it lean music. Like, you know, you just be like, oh, it's not like screw, but it's like a different, it's a different bounce. So I call it lean music. So it's that mix in there. So those are three songs you heard. Then you heard the last song that, that it ended with was Pharrell's song, B BBC, mm. D-Boy Drug. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. It's Nas on that record, too. It's a good album, man. It's a great hip hop album. You're going to want more when you hear the Jay Z album. Trust me when I tell you this. Did all I could tell everybody in this room are real hip hop heads. This is hip hop at its finest. And music, music aside, how do you feel about the standards that he's setting, like with releasing, you know, announcing the album, putting it out less than a month, hey, dropping man. through a mobile device? That's how. The RIA changed, switched the rules up. You had to. You have to. Like he the big he the big brother. Like I'm the one next in line. After I drop my album for Interscope, I'm done too. So the next thing is gonna we can control our records. Mm. That's the new thing. So we now we can go sell them to Netflix. This person now we can put content with it. Now I ain't gotta go talk to none of these people. I am the people. Me and Jay, we say we're gonna do it this way. No, nah, I want to move this way. And then the money is much better because now I can make my own deals. I can sell my album for two dollars, three dollars. I can even sell it on the back of my trunk. You don't own me. I don't own nobody. How much money I make? You know, people come by. Right? Say, oh, here's a new Tamil Mill. I can sell three hundred thousand dollars. That's four million dollars. See, record companies, dog. See, people do think you got to sell platinum. You got to sell platinum to make money. But if you own your own, three hundred thousand to two hundred thousand. That's like quarter of like about five million dollars, four million dollars. It sucks. You make that all the time. You know what you do? You got to sell those million records. It can add up to your fans. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just all an illusion, man. Like, but what's crazy is here again. Two albums, both gonna sell a million the first week. Now I got a street. I can't. I can't do no wrong. I got to all the, I ain't gonna say all of them gonna sell a million, but then come September 30th is the second release. I think Justin gonna sell two million. He gonna sell two million records, man. When he dropped that on September 30th, it's a wrap. That's why Drake dropped it September 17th. 17 is his lucky number. And I'm like, yo, man, you gotta let me hear it. I fly that I wanna say, no, nah, move this here. Take that verse, put it on this song, blah, blah, blah. Kanye, what I think about Kanye, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, because he gives me diverse. He is trying to tell y'all, like, you don't, I don't want you mentioning my name with these other rappers. I'm not them. I am rock and roll rap. I am the hardest thing walking on earth. Now, I know that's Kanye. He's going to be like, yeah, Tim, talk that shit. Right now, he be like, talk that shit. I was like, Kanye, no. I'll be like, yeah, you might. I love you. I'm not saying it for you to go crazy again. You are God. I give you that. You are dope. I love you. And if you think you, I, I, whatever you want me to do, I'm all in your team because I understand you. I know what he's trying to do. It's going to take the second time for people to understand it. And I think the beauty will be is for me and him to do the album. He should just concentrate on rapping. And then I, I just direct certain sounds of what to do. I keep it the same, but I'm going to bring that bitch home. I'm going to take what we just, what he just did, and I'm going to bring that bitch to life. Like, we're going to, he already brought it to life, but now I'm going to take it to the extra goddamn, to the, the now he bring it to the Oz. That's my territory. He bring it to the wonderful land of Oz. Now I'm going to take it. We're going to go. I'm the wizard. Now I'm going to take him over the top. He already, he's over the top. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like I know Kanye. He's always searching for more. And I just know his brain. And I love him for that. You know what I'm saying? I don't never, when they made that little comment about suit and tie, I didn't get offended. But would you, you talk about your music? Who cares? I still love my man. That's my man. Like he going through something. Like, give me, let me talk to him. What's wrong? Like you know, what, is something wrong? You know, people always want to attack before instead of find out what's wrong with the person. I don't want to attack my man. I'm like, well, okay, you feel? I mean, I understand it. You're in a different place. You might don't like that record. Okay, it's okay. Do I pose to get mad? You know, I was like, yo, I was just wish. You know, dang, you just. I wouldn't call you out on TV. <laughs> you know, it's like calling you out. Like, that's the only thing I thought that was wrong about it. But 
that's how he felt at the moment, man. I don't know what he was going through. I don't know what was on his mind. So I just like, you know. Yeah, and I love him for it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like this album. A lot of people, but I'm always fighting. I'm like Kanye spokesperson. I'm like, no, nah, man. I said, I tell you what, you listen to this album before you listen to somebody else. You know why? And the beats, it's not about the beats. It's just about the sounds, what's going on. Get, 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 get. It's stuff coming loud. Some stuff coming quiet. It's just like, it takes you through a roller coaster. Then you start to get into it and you be like, hmm. You don't want to change because it's just, you don't know why you don't like it. You don't know why you listening to it. You be like, I don't like it. But you steady listening to it. You don't because it's a feeling that takes you, it's different emotions and you can't change it. You can't put on a French Montana record after putting on a Kanye record. You can't do it. You can't. It's too, it's, it's, Kanye gives you that, he gives you that rich, lavish lifestyle in a ghetto version. But his interpretation of what it should be, how he think rock and roll should be, what he just did was rage against, rage against the machine in a black culture way. That's all he did. You can't listen to nobody rap full album complete. You listen to Justin. J. Cole's good, but you can't listen to J. Cole like you listen to Kanye. Because there's a difference. He's giving you like, it's like, and I told J. Cole, J. Cole's right there. He's the next one in line. He's the next one. He's great. But like he talked when I saw him at the party, at the Jamie Foxx party, he was like, you know, I'm right there. I tried, but I told him it was perfect for him to do his own album. He needed that. You needed to do that. You need to be con J. Cole, produced, written by J. Cole. I thought that was brilliant. I don't get mad that I'm not on the album because I send them tracks. I said, I'm your man. I would never get mad. I would never get mad or not be. He said, man, I'm ready to blah, 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 blah. I'm ready now. I want to do concentrate on the art, and I'm telling, I'm like, I'm here whenever you need. Like I'm here. These kids love me, man. I'm like they daddy almost in a way in the music world. And Kanye, he, I supposed to go meet with him. He want me to come to his house so we can just chop it up. But I think the move with Kanye would shock the world if me and him did the record, the next record. And I'm telling y'all this because Puff, my man, and this I'm, I'm always gonna support. So I tell the news first. Now, if it goes yes, I ain't telling nobody. You just gonna hear about it. I'm just saying what it should be. Kanye and Timbo. That might be the biggest thing since I don't know because it's the, it's too. It's like two different. It's like Cuban coffee and Starbucks coffee. How you gonna blend them two? What we gonna come? It could be an explosion, or it could be flat. I know it ain't gonna be flat. It's going to be an explosion because we're going to get into arguments. It's going to be fun. I'm going to say, no, we doing this. Get in that booth. No, nah, you're going to go all do the Kanye thing. I'm like, no, yay. This is what we doing. Ah, I said, then he going to do it. He was like, all right, all right, you was right. Dab each other. I said, I told you, nigga, I got you. And you got me. We got each other. I ain't going to let you fall. I'm going to hold your hand. You're going to hold me. It's like, you know, and that's what music is about. It's about debating, arguing, and walk, maybe walking out, go sit on the couch like, oh, I don't want to try to hear that. You ready now? Uh, can we finish? You want me to get on my knees and praise you? I do it. You know what I'm saying? When you love the music, you do anything. And I, I, I love him because I love his brain. Still don't think you're a legend? Still don't want to call yourself I probably will be. I probably want I'm I'm cool, man. I'm just here to just guide the game, man. I'm always the underdog. I've been that way. You know, even if I get producer of the year this year again or whatever, I, I, I want, they got to give me the, I got to speak because there's a lot I want to say. I'm going to touch some hearts at the Grammys. I will be the talk. I will speak if, I, if, they, if I'm nominated and whatever. I have to speak. It's not about winning. I need to speak to the world. Because when I talk to the world, I will touch the world. And that's all that matters to me is touching somebody. I will save somebody's life if I get to that podium. And, and it's probably going to change everybody's perspective on how they deal with me. Because some people have this perspective that I don't talk, I don't do this. No, I'm just not talking to you. I'm from the South. We don't just go running our mouth. We shut up. People run their mouth too much, get killed. So we, I don't do that. I just don't. I come from the South and I come from the street. So it's like... I ain't doing all that talking, man. Like you don't need it. I ain't. I ain't, I'm in here to work. I'm not in here for to be a social act to talk to tell you about my life to get a bunch of women. I did that in my teenage year when I was in the game. 
But as you get grown, it's time to cut that shit out. It's time to focus on who you are and who's in your circle. You keep it Trump tight. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through trial and error, man. From the South, I don't just talk. Like, I'm now opening up. You know what I'm saying? At 40 years old, I'm opening up. So look how long it took. Because I had to be, I had to figure out, I didn't know who I was. Because I wasn't sure of who I was. I feel like I have addictive personality. I can get addicted to a lot of things. And and I and at one time in my in my career, I was addicted to Oxycontin. You know what I'm saying? I was popping pills like that. And God always got his hands on me. And my friends who worked for me, Big Rick wrote me a letter. Richie, everybody saw it. They came to me. And, they, and that's real. I can't fire nobody for telling me it. Yo, man, you need help. Freak, I look far as somebody need help. I'm not fine. you. I'm like, perfect. You really, you really down for Tim. And I stop. Just like that. What do you expect for, from this, this J album? You know, aside from breaking records and changing the tides of how the business of the industry is done. It's going to change hip hop. It's good. Wait till y'all hit me. I wish I could give y'all a copy right now. Y'all gonna go give me y'all a copy and be like, damn, this is a good ass album.